everyone, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to make a save code. Let's get started. So, what a save code is essentially is it's just going to be taking a string of data, in this case a list or a variable, and then it's going to just be reading that and then converting it into something else. So, what we can do here is first let's set up what we will be like changing. Let's just duplicate the kitty cat. And then I guess just, let's make a pattern here. So, of course, this is just skimming the top just so I can show you, like, how it, how to make one in general. Nothing super fancy, but it could, it, you can make it into something really, really cool. And also, a Bluebird live stream is coming very soon. Severity for those keywords. So, to do this, the first thing you're going to need to do is just set up the game itself, or whatever you're going to be using to load it. So, I guess we could just do win, right key, pressed. Let's go next costume. And then, when the space key is pressed, we can go ahead and when, what this will be doing is it will be adding it to a string. So let's go code so far, which is like the name suggests, the save code so far. Set the code so far to join the code, code so far, which that's doing is it's just adding it onto what's already there with the costume number. See, because it's taking it in a, it will, it will read the data in a number form. And the save code will be in a number form and it will convert it into a non number form. So, boom. So, here, if we go, we can go ahead and just add the kitty cat, that, and that, and that. So, now if we look at the code so far, it is all that. But it started off with zero. We did not do that. That is because at, at the start, you need to set the code so far to nothing by just pressing the backspace so that it's adding on what it already has. Okay, so now it's time for the next phase the reading the data. So if you didn't know, lists, you can copy things from them by double clicking the item. So boom, command C. Then I can add that. So that is handy. So we're gonna be using that to our advantage. So what we can do is when a key, let's say D pressed for when you're done, we can Set, add, add the code so far to the list, just like that. And then when we start, we're going to delete all the code. So there's that. That's good. So now if we go, add a bat, dog, bat, the dog, then cat. And then we press D, there's the code. If you look at that, look, it corresponds the two. Three, two, three, one. So now all we need to do is have the computer read that data and then convert it into the costumes. So to do that, just down here, make a variable called letter hash, and this will be keeping track of what letter it is on. Of course, because it's letter hash. But then we'll set the letter hash to one. But when the flag is clicked, what we want to do is ask if we want it to be, if you want to load this or make a new one. So I guess you can just ask new or load. And then you could just do an if. If answer contains L, which means it will have to be load because new does not have an L in it. Then we will do the loading script, which will, of course, start off with setting the letter hash to one. But before that, actually, go ahead and ask again to paste the save code. And you do that by doing control or command V if you're on a Mac. But most of you guys that watch my videos are on Windows, so. That would be, I'm pretty sure, control V. Tell me if I'm correct or wrong in the comments. But anyway, then what it'll do is it will, so there's that, perfect. 
now we just need to read it. So repeat length of the answer, which is, of course, how many costumes was in it. And then what that will do is it will tell it how many times it needs to read. So in this case, it will be one, two, three, four, five times. So what it'll do is switch costume to letter, letter hash of the answer. So if the letter hash is one, let's say, that means it's going to be reading a two. So here, if the letter hash is one, and then here's the answer, so that means two. So it'll switch to its second costume, which is the back. Make sense? Good. So now, and then you're going to change the letter hash by one so it can read the next one. But you will want to wait a bit, maybe like 0 0.5, just so that it has a bit of break in between that it doesn't happen really fast. So perfect. So if you do L, then paste it, it'll leave the pattern. And this is very expansive, but this is just very, very basic. You can use this with this strategy. You can only have nine different things because those are the single digit. I guess you can have 10. No, you couldn't. But in another video, if you want it, I can show you how to make a better one. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. I was Please, guys, let's try to get this number up to like 20%. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, yeah. Bye-bye.